Hey, everyone. I got to send you your email real quick. Hold on. How is everybody? Hey, Joe. All right, North, if you just got your email. Oh, well, I just sent you your, your email. Is everybody still frozen? <clears throat> Am I back? Okay. So your email should look something like this. Okay, perfect. Um, it should look something like this. So. For the first, I'm going to give y'all, I know the email says um, 30 minutes, but I'm going to give y'all 20 because we're not only going over this, but we're also going over this from the other day. Okay, just give it a second. It will take a minute. Um, either way, we're going to go over it together, um, and we're also going to be going over this one as well. The one that we have quite a bit of questions on. I'm sorry. I'm trying. It's hard when I have to send it at 12. But, okay, perfect. We just, we just got it. Perfect. So that means South School, you're probably just like a minute or two behind. No problem. Um, and like the, um, like the page says, you are going to just write the answer. We're not writing the whole question out. You're just going to label it one through 28 and okay, perfect. So that means South School y'all are probably maybe like a minute or two behind them. If they just got it, you'll probably get it at 12.05, 12.06, somewhere in there. I know it kind of takes a couple minutes. I'm sorry about that. Live out in the middle of BFE, so. Um, I know these you don't have to turn in, and I don't believe, you don't have to turn in Kim's notes as well. And again, if anybody is not receiving the emails, please text me. Or phone a friend, I don't know. Um, all right, so for this assignment, I'm going to leave you all on here um, and we'll come back. Oh, trust me, I get it. I've shoved them all on the exact opposite side of my house. So um, what we'll do is we'll come back at like 1220. I know that only gives you 15 minutes, but honestly, all of the questions you basically just went over with Kim for the most part. And then we'll be also answering the questions as well together. So you have all the information you need. Um, just try to get as many as you possibly can. And then after that, we are going to go through this first and we're going to go through it pretty quickly simply because then I have to go through this as well okay so we're going to be back at 12 20 go ahead and continue to do your roll call um and then we will get through these as quickly as possible you're still going to see me moving here i'm not walking away but we will get through this here in just a moment all right so just take that 15 minutes 15 14 minutes 
and um, answer as many questions as possible, and then we will go over everything, okay? So you're not going to hear me anymore for a minute. All right. Anything you turned in as of right now? No. Did we get the other paper? Yes. You. This was from yesterday or the day before yesterday. I know it had like the word bank on it, and a lot of people were having quite a bit of uh, problems with it. So we're gonna go over it together. Yeah. Yes. It was from two days ago. I knew it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. It was very, very tricky. And Monica, this one was from Thursday, I believe. Or Thursday, yeah. It was the one that people had a lot, a lot of trouble with. Okay. So. No, you do not have to turn this in. All right. So again, I'll give y'all until 1220 and then we will go over it. They've been worded weird because um, they're more based off of state board questions and state board questions are always worded weird. Always.
Oh, okay. So right when I say I might end the live, that's when it starts working again? Rude. Rude. Or root of it. <sighs> okay. As long as it's back, that's all I, that's all I care about. Also, like, inch it closer to the Wi-Fi. I don't know if that helped or not. All right. So, we'll wait just a minute. Glad to see everybody back. All right, so let's go over this worksheet real quick. All right, so the first one is a term used to identify the condition. Nothing? Okay. I don't know what's going on, guys. I really don't. Um, let's get into it. Chronic is a term used to identify conditions that are B, frequent and habitual. Number three, uh, what is a technical term for the study of the cause of disease? And that would be A. Um, anticipating the most uh, probable course of a disease may uh, follow as, is known as um, B, prognosis, abnormal changes in the structure of organs or tissues are called primary, secondary, and tertiary, and that's C, lesions. One was A, two was B, Three was A, four was B, and five was C. Number six, which of the following terms is used for symptoms that are visible? And that would be C, objective. We're on six. Um, seven, which of the following symptoms is not considered subjective? And that would be B, in, uh, inflammation. Number uh, eight, a type, a freckle is a type of what? Macule, B. Herpes simplex is the technical name for which of the following conditions? A, fever blister. Which of the following lesions is characterized by a solid formation above the skin, often caused by an insect bite or an allergic reaction? And that is um, wheels. Wheels. All right. Let me.
Okay. All right. So I'm going to read these and then we'll just go as best we can. But I'm going to still write these. Okay. So uh, 13, a secondary lesion appearing is. Uh, appearing as round, dry patches of skin covered with rough, um, silvery scales is called the psoriasis. 14, which of the following secondary lesions are cracks of the skin? And that would be the fissures. 15, the direct remains of an oozing sore is also known as the secretion. Um, 16, uh, the lesion found the following, um, found following the healing of an injury is called C, a scar. Yeah, but I already wrote stuff for the next paper, so... Yeah, 13 is B. Sixteen is C. Seventeen. All of the following secondary lesions are considered hypertrophies of new growth, except a what C. Eighteen. Which of the following describes a thickening of the epidermis uh, from pressure and friction applied to the skin, and that would be B. A callus. Nineteen. Um, a congenital. Failure of the skin um, to form melanin pigment is also known as de-albinism. I'm sorry this isn't working, guys. <laughs> Wish it was. All right, 20. Uh, what is another name for... Uh, a stain in the skin caused by dilation of small blood vessels, um, which is also known as a birth birthmark, and that would be 20 D. Uh, 15 is D. 21. Uh, which term is used to describe any hyperpigmentation caused by Overactivity of the melanocytes in the epidermis, and that would be D22. Uh, masses of sebum trapped in the hair follicle are known as comedones, of which of the following? Uh, a blackheads, 23. Um, okay, so 23. Accumulation of hardened um, sebum beneath the skin is called what? Amnilia 24. Um, a condition characterized by dry, scaly skin caused by decreased pro uh, production of sebum is called C. Osteosis. Oste osteosis. Wow. 25. I can't remember how to say that word. Dang it, man. Um, which disorder is caused by excessive secretion of the sebaceous glands? And that would be sporia A26. Um, which of the following is a term used for sm uh, foul smelling perspiration? And that is bromhidrosis, bromhidrosis, which is a B. And then 27, the lack of perspiration is also known as anhydrosis, which is C. And then finally, 28, uh, what sebaceous gland disorder appears in the dermis and epidermis and is caused by an acute bacterial infection? A, boils. All right. Anybody got any questions? Anybody miss any? Anybody that I need to go back for? I'll go back right now. And I hope this this live actually stays unfrozen. Struggle, struggle through. All right.
right. Sixteen. C scar. Wasn't that hard. Just kept freezing. Why was 15 D and not B? Great question. Let me take a look. That's a good question. I'll have to double check the the um key with Wendy because it does make sense as crusts more than variation. Let me double check with her and then I'll get back to y'all because crest makes sense to me. Ugh. All right, so you're right, Baldwin Beastful has because your girl kept typing as she was talking. I think it is crossed. I, I, it might just be an accident, but crust is the one that makes more sense. But I'll double check with Wendy. All right, so we're going to fill in our blanks from uh, two days ago because I know a lot of people had a lot of questions about this, and I even had questions about it as well. Um, it was a little confusing at some times, and Felt like some things worked here, but other things didn't work here. So um, let's just go through this. So the fill in the blanks start with blemish skin conditions can be hereditary. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no, it's crust. It's crust. I know everybody hated this assignment. Everybody texted me about it, and it's perfectly fine. I I was struggling just as much as everybody else. All right, so blemished skin conditions can be hereditary. Um, and emotional factors. Okay, so. If you have it and you want to go along, I've already written these out, so I'm just going to read these to you. Most every person will go through a uh, life at some point experiencing blemishes. When the person remove, uh, removes worm-like mass of hardened sebum, these are known as comedones and are also known as blackheads. Typically, these blemishes occur most often between the ages of 13 and 20. Oil glands are stimulated and uh, most during the, these years of life. Okay. Is everybody good on this so far? I just want to double check and make sure we were all having an easy time so far. Um, no, because you're past the deadline. All right, so moving on, uh, the sebum is not black. The blemish appears black due to the oxid oxidation of sebaceous filaments in the follicle. The mouth of the follicle catches the debris and clogs it. Pretty 
can you resend the assignment for two and three? I haven't got um, I haven't sent the assignment for two to three yet. I'm supposed to send it at 1.30. So you'll see it at 1.30. That's why you haven't seen it yet. All right. So the mouth of the follicle catches the debris and clogs it. Uh, a comedone extractor is a tool that can help expel the debris from the, from the pore. And Marina, we'll have to... No, you're good. We're going to double check your email because have you got the emails from earlier? The nail drawing that I sent at 9 a.m. is the same email that you're going to get it from 2 to 3. Yeah. You're right. You are 110% correct. It would be the 9 a.m. one. That's perfectly fine if you already turned it in. All right, I'm gonna move on. If you have any more questions, just send them in. Uh, the blemish has a sheath um, of skin covering the trapped matter. In order to remove this, you uh, you remove this small round whitehead. You will need to use a lancet to prick the um, small to prick a small opening to expel the small pearl-like substance that resembles a grain of sand. Any more inflammatory disorder of the skin uh, due to hormonal changes or environmental factors is known as acne. This occurs when the overactive oil conditions are more cyst-like or more cystic. Um, once the condition becomes this aggravated, it needs to be treated by a dermatologist for preventative care. Super uh, overactive sebaceous glands that secrete, excrete excessive oil is known as seboria. seboria. Um, the skin is very shiny, especially on the forehead and nose and scalp. I'm just going over these yet. These are on the different side, okay? I just don't want you to be confused with this portion yet. We're still on this portion. Um, acne is a combination of blemishes that include pustules and cysts. Cysts never reach the surface of the skin and remain and uh, can remain and turn to scarring of the skin is known as ice pick. A cystoma is a technical term for sebaceous cyst. Another term is when, and they can range um, they can range from pea size to tumor size. Yeah, we were supposed to turn this in like two days ago. Um, rosacea, we're not turning this in today. This was from two days ago. We're going over this from two days ago. You already turned it in. Okay. Rosacea is the chronic congestion of the cheeks and nose. Dilated blood vessels are visible. The only successful treatment seems to be creams obtained from the dermatologist. Uh, one is extremely red and patchy. People with this disorder are always uh, pink or red on the cheeks and nose, and oftentimes the nose grows larger every time. Bill Clinton is one well-known person, as well as W.C. Fields. All right. 
Everybody's still good? Everybody's still with me? I feel like I'm reading a little bedtime story about skin. All right. So, very dry, scaly skin <clears throat> is a lack of sebum. This is also um, known as stosis um, or osteosis. Uh, can be due to harsh chemicals. Uh, when the follicle ruptures from irritating oil and dead cells, then a cyst forms and can be painful and may not reach the surface of the skin easily. A lump can be felt. Reminder, these can leave ice pick scars. A, um, a less serious eruption on the skin is known as pimples. It contains a noticeable white, yellow-like secretion that appears somewhat red. Acne blemishes are not contagious. Um, important to know that acne can cause great damage. Ice pick scars are large, visible, open pores jabbed with um, that look like they are jabbed with a thin instrument. Acne pit scars from cysts um, that destroyed the follicle. Raised scars, and these come from the clumping of cysts forming a lumpy mass. A vaporizer, also known as a steamer. Um, and these are machines that can assist in removal. So the first one is vaporizer, also known as steamer. Warm towels. Disincrustation solution offered by your esthetician. It's highly alkaline to swell the pore and offer assistance. Dr. Jaquette uh, massage uh, learned in previous massage chapter to knead the oil from the pores. All right. Does anybody have any questions about that? I can go back to my little bedtime story about follicles. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So perfect. So I'll wait a second to make sure nobody has any questions. For my people that aren't, um, English is not their first language. Is everything good? Do I need to go back? I know I have a few of you. And I know sometimes it's a little hard. I just want to make sure everybody obtains the information. This was from Thursday, the 16th. Yeah. Ready for the reptile of the day? Oh, God. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, no problem. All right. So, um, I think what we're going to do, why don't we do a reflection like we did the other day? We did what we were thankful for. So do it. Do it. Um, I know this was very hard, but you know what? Um, I'm glad y'all got through it. I'm glad y'all persevered through it. Um, so why don't we do, we've done three things that we're thankful for. Why don't we do um, th three things we're looking forward to in the future after this quarantine is over? And while you're doing that in the group chat, I am going to go get the reptile of the day.
Wait, what are we congratulating? What are we congratulating Amber for? Hold on. Oh no. Come on, All right, this is Ozzy. I know, I just want to go to the beach. Ooh, stop it. It's a lot of work. I will say that. I know, I can't wait. Just case on marks, that's all I want. He's a runner. Like legit, he will continue to do this. Yeah. He's 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 a little crushed of Yerko. He is. He's a great climber. He has a 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra. Oh. Um, and he will use the whole entire thing. He has a little like webbed feet. So he's really good at climbing. Yes. Let's do final roll call. Let's do it. Yeah, no, I had um, Ozzy and Arrow, and Arrow passed away because she was old. She was one of the first geckos I ever got. She was an old little girl. He is less than a year old, so. But yeah, she passed away. Let's say. Three months ago, two months ago, something like that. Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, he's a year old. No, you do not have to turn it in. But yeah, I had Ozzy and Arrow. Yeah, he's a crested gecko. They're like my favorite faces for geckos. They just they're like little derpy, derpy babies. But yeah, most of my reptiles have a band name to them. This is not this type of gecko. Those are day geckos. This is crested gecko. I mean, but I guess he could try. He could try to sell you insurance. More Liberty Mutual type of guy. But yeah. Little derpy boy. Give him two seconds and he'll be perfectly fine with it.
yeah. He's um he looks more like a green and old, but he's based off of a day gecko. Yeah. Please don't jump on me. That's what happens. Oh, Lord. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, we finished earlier than I thought because, yeah, that he like full on, full out does not care where he jumps. He will just and go. He like has full trust that I'm going to catch him, and he goes way too far for. Let's see if he'll do it. Yeah. See. All right. So y'all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see y'all tomorrow on a lovely Sunday. All right. So we're going to go ahead and head out. I, mm, he does not have that great of aim. He's not going to lay it on the camera. It's just not going to happen for him. And he's really mad that I'm not letting him jump around. All right. But bye, guys. Um, Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.